Bonjour, moi bien content nous tourner dans channel là avec. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Dans la vidéo ça, moi fait mes moulin coulé à pois. So in today's video, I made cornmeal with beans. Let's get started. Pour manger, m'a mettre saison sel avec créole seasoning avec sel régulier. So I'm adding seasoned salt, creole seasoning and some regular salt. Okay, so I have beans, pois, coconut milk, le cocoyer, butter, be, habanero pepper with dry thyme, pima pique avec tin. I have epis, mon gagne epis. Okay, so I'm going to mette de l'eau dans chaud zem, et puis ma mette rechaud à sous medium, et puis ma mette pois la dan pour ta cuit pour une heure temps. I put my pot on my stove with water. I add my beans. I let them cook for about an hour. And I set my stove at medium high heat. Le pois fin kwit mwen pral koulel pou m ka komanse fè manje a. Mwap kwit de tas mayi jodi a. So once my beans are ready to go, I'm going to drain them so I can get started with cooking. And the measurements for the cornmeal that I'm using today is two cups of cornmeal. Okay, so I'm going to add some olive oil to my pot and followed by the epis. Ma mette l'huile d'olive non chaude et puis ma mette un petit epis free la dan. Once my epis have browned up, I'm going to add my beans in next. Le epis la commence à prendre couleur, ma mette pois la dan. Once I have my beans in, I'm going to add some salt to that, just a pinch of salt, just so it could um, hold the flavors. Let me take pois na l'huile la, ma mette un petit sel la dan pour le manger à quit pour le kage un bon sel. So the water that the beans were cooking in is what you want to add in next. I'm, um, I'm also adding one cup of coconut milk. You can add um, more if you prefer. You can add more if you prefer. After that, I'm going to add some sel with Creole seasoning. And after that, I'm going to be adding seasoned salt and Creole seasoning to my mix. You can add your habanero pepper and your dry thyme. Um, also, this is optional. You don't have to do that. Après ça, mon palme te my moulin non d'loa pour le cas comment se cuit. Now I'm adding my cornmeal in so it can cook. Now cornmeal is different than rice. I've done this on my channel before a different way. So you can always refer back to that video for more details. But basically, you want to continuously stirring this so because it it balls up a lot and you want to stir it. So it's very tedious, but that's what you have to do if you don't want to have part of it cook and part of it not cook. So let me quit my money. Ouvre bois le bien parce que quand des fois le qu'on fait boule, sous pas sous pas bois le bien la fait boule ou pas vouloir manger ma moulin et puis parti là dans cuit et puis l'autre parti à pas cuit. Now I'm just adding the butter. Quand y'a ma mette bel à dan et puis ma continue bois sel toujours pour li pas fè boule. You don't want your cornmeal to get um, clumps in it, like I said. So you want to stir it as frequently as possible. All 
All right, so we're at the home stretch now. So that's all I'm doing is just continuously stirring it. And also be careful because that stuff can burn, which I did burn my finger. So be careful. I forgot to cover it. So when you're not stirring it, cover it so you don't burn yourself. Um, so that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and see you in my video Y'all like it, be wa subscribe. I don't know how to say that. Sorry, wa subscribe na channel la pou please video. Et puis map manje ma moulem na avec zapoka. Souffre ka manje la avec sauce poisson, legume, whatever you want. I'm eating this with some avocados, but you can have it with different side. And that's pretty much it, guys. I love you all for watching. Until next time, bye. Et puis c'est ça seulement ma wenu na l'autre video. Au revoir, bye bye.